All right, chaps, so something I wanted to, to show you real quick today. I've had this in a little while. This is an M1942 Aladdin stove. Um, these were made um, throughout, the, I think, the early 40s to mid 40s. Um, used, I think, by the military in the US. A few manufacturers made them. Aladdin was one, Coleman made them. I think Prentice Weber made them also. Um, so this one, it comes in a canister that doubles up as a as a cook set. Um, the canister here is dated, or it says US. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that. CM Manufacturing Co. 1945, which I think is the Coleman Manufacturing Co. So this, this canister I don't think is the original canister for the stove. But let's take a look. So that's the, the canister cook set, so that could obviously double up as a, as a cooking pot. And then there's the stove. And then that's a, that's a larger cooking pot I'll put over there. So that's how the stove comes out of the canister. So as you can see, three feet that fold in to stabilize it. And then the, um, the little arms that come out here. And then, there's a ring that comes down to rest the arms on, like that. And that's for the, your cook or your, your pot or your kettle to, to sit on top of. And then, so on here, this actually, on the ring at the top, it has, again, I'm not sure you'll be able to make that out, but it says US 1942 MOD and then Aladdin. 1944 so that's why i don't think the uh the canister is the the right canister for this um so you can see it had operating instructions there was a, a label right here at some point that's all deteriorated i guess with like fuel leaking over there and just over time that's gone away um there's a little arm here which cleans the uh the tip um little tip at the top of the generator where the fuel and air mixture comes through. There's a very small little hole there. Um, and then this is the uh, this is the cap, so there's some pressure in there from when it was last used. So in here, that's the pump mechanism. And then that's where you put the fuel in. So I use the Coleman white, uh, white gas fuel. And there's a little bit of fuel in there. So we'll light it up and see how it goes. Let's tighten that down. There's a small O-ring in there that just keeps that pressure inside around the fuel filler. Uh, let's make sure it's turned off. This is in the up position. And I normally give it about 20 pumps just to bring it up to pressure. Okay, so that was 20 pumps. So the way you start these, so, I mean, all this is cool. So when I first open the valve, you're pretty much just getting the raw fuel come through. Um, you know, it's not hot enough for the fuel and the air mixed to, to actually vaporize. So it's just gonna be raw fuel. So what you do is you, you open this a couple of seconds, let some fuel pull around the preheat cup here um, and then what will happen is, as that burns and warms up, this generator gets to um, a temperature where it will vaporize the fuel in the air mixture, and then it produces a, a nice blue flame at the top. Um, so let me run through that. So open the, uh, the valve, give it a few seconds, and then close it once a bit of fuel has pulled around the preheat cup. Okay, and then we'll light a match and then it'll flame up. There we go. 
Now what you hear, you'll start to hear the fuel and air mixture start to ignite and vaporize once it starts to get up to temperature. You'll hear a hissing noise as it does that. And that's when you can start to open the, uh... there we go. So I'll just give it a little bit longer, but now you can see that it's starting to get up to, up to temperature. And the pressure forcing the air and the fuel mixture up now with it vaporizing should produce a nice blue flame so just slowly open the uh, valve a little bit of a clean there. But as it gets a little bit up to temperature you'll start to see it settle down a little bit. So I'll just show you the fan. Going quite nicely. Uh, model and this one is made by Aladdin in 1944. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you.